There we go. That was three man. First person. What's up everybody and welcome back here to Forza Motorsport 7. Definitely been a minute, but we are here in an open drift lobby at Maple Valley Short Circuit. We're just going to have a little fun, do some random drift lobby on the rig to uh, just get ourselves more acclimated with positioning of everything that I have. We are in our higher horsepower ESDA uh, C5 Corvette and we're just going to go send it. We're just going to stop talking and get into more of drifting today. It's all about that drifting and trying to get some tandems with some randoms here in a public hopper. Hopefully we don't have any uh, rammers that are going to cause us some serious issues. But, you know, Forza, public lobbies, public drift lobbies, that's exactly what happens. See a train of cars up there, so kind of stalled it in, uh, stalled it in second gear. Haven't driven this car in a minute, so we're definitely going to have to... Get our bearings straight again in this car. This one is 800 and some horsepower. Apparently this can do fifth gear. This one is 800 horsepower, whereas my other ESDA car is only 670. Oh my, that dude just came out of nowhere. But I feel like this car is definitely very stable still even in the higher horsepower bands. Apparently this thing likes fifth gear though. There we go. Let's say ease it up there, but we kinda just took out our mirrors, so. Oh my, definitely have not been on a public drift lobby in a very long time, but we're here today just shaking down the cars a little bit. Might bring out the uh, SSR uh, 370 also. Just having some fun getting sideways with some randoms. I'm gonna try and catch this man's door. Ooh. We should downshift in the fourth there. Car bogged a little bit, but catch up to this. Uh oh! Is he gonna want to run tandem? Nope, he does not want to run. We've gotta find some people to start doing some tandems with. I feel like we've definitely shaken down the car enough. There we go. I was worried that guy was not going to be a ghost anymore. Ooh. So let's go back to pits, reset our tires, and reset our car for damage. And then we're going to uh, change it up a little bit. And we are going to put the camera down below and uh, throw ourselves in some first person. For all the haters out there. They give me hate for being in third. This is for you guys. Oh boy. Too soon. Almost rode off the vent. Definitely should spend some more time in first person to fully get used to it. A little slow little transition there, but we're good. I should be wearing one white glove and one black glove like my uh, avatar, but...
Now we're getting it. A little bit nice smooth slides. Oh, a little bit too much there, but we're... Might need to switch down to lower horsepower vet. I don't think the tune is exact for this car. We're also running the H pattern shifter, not the sequential like I'm used to when I run this car. So I'm trying to remember. Oh boy. All right, so let's switch it up to, let's bring the uh, SSR 370 out and see uh, if we can get that thing going sideways just as well as we did our ESD event. And I gotta find some people to tandem with. Come on, Nissan, where are you at? Here you are. SSR 370, V8 powered, 500 horsepower. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. I heard a really powerful car. I don't know if the gearing is going to be right for this car. Definitely going to try it. We're at six gears where it's at with this car right now. Definitely more comfortable in this car because I spent more time in it right now recently. Saves that entry though. Oh, public hoppers, the glitching when people join in lobbies. Fire that throttle so I don't smack into the go off track. Find ourselves a nice S13 to try and tandem with. I don't know what the Z is doing. There we go. That was three man. First person. Lose it. Ugh. Too much. Too much on the exit. So we're going for this man who is ripping that E92. See my mirror? Ah, oh, I think he just bailed it into the dirt. So just having some easy fun here today to start the week off. Hope you guys are ooh, ready for the week and ready for a slew of uploads this week. I'm getting hit by that E92 now. I think we might switch it back into third person. Get my camera back. Oh, sorry, dude. Looks like we got somebody following us, too. Overthrew it. We had a skyline, so apparently I was getting more acclimated with first person. And now I need to go back to first person because, uh, Yo, that's better. Settle this car down. Definitely got to start getting this car tuned for the next round of SSR.
apparently I misshifted there. So if you guys want to keep seeing some random lobbies here on the channel, make sure you tap that like button, subscribe. I do appreciate all the support from you guys. And as always, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. I'm gonna try to suck up on the door. This 35, but that bump kind of screwed us. I don't think the Z has the power to do the bank how I want it to. Well, there we go. Coming in hot, but we're kind of losing him on there. So as always, I like thank you guys for coming back and watching. I do appreciate all the support. Like I said, I want to run some more open. Lo I want to run open lobbies here in Forza Seven as well as Horizon. So look for those coming this week or next week. And as always, stay always have fun. But I appreciate all the support. I appreciate you coming back. So until next time, guys. I will see you guys on the track in Park Drift or in lobbies. I will see you guys next time.